My name is Jorge Otero Pilos, and I'm the director of the Historic Preservation Program at Columbia University. And I'm very excited to present to you here our new preservation technology lab. This is really a radical experiment in both pedagogy and research. Here we're combining all of the traditional science and technology that involves materials and structures with new kinds of technologies. We've invested in new equipment from drones to scanners to XRF machines that are able to allow students to do incredible new work faster, more precisely than ever before. For example, our XRF gun, which allows us to determine what kind of material the element might be made of. Then we take things like our scanners to the field where we are able to document in 3D the composition and the layout and the form of the different kinds of buildings and monuments around the world. That data then has to come back and then we process it in the lab and then begin to imagine ways in which we can then intervene. One of the important things about the new Preservation Technology Lab is that it really approaches technology from a humanistic perspective in conjunction with the rest of our program. So students are equipped not only to understand the new kinds of technologies, but also to think critically about them and to imagine ways in which the application of these new technologies can begin to challenge orthodoxies about how we think of heritage, the kinds of things that we preserve, and how we make those treatments. So that we may expand our notions, our, our, the boundaries of what we preserve from the building to the building's environment and to the building's social context. So we have classes that deal with smell and how to preserve and document the smell of different monuments so that we can design treatments that preserve the smell or enhance the smell of buildings. Faculty, visiting scholars, and students come together around projects that go out into the world and bring different pieces of the world here. So students travel, for example, to Mexico, or to London, to Geneva, to Myanmar, to uh, different places where they're working on different monuments and then documenting them, bringing them back, and imagining ways in which we can transform them and preserve them better. So it's a very exciting place of exchange of knowledge, of critical reflection on the world, and also of engagement with the future of technology and of heritage.